Good morning. I'm sorry. I'm four minutes late. Um, this is the first time I'm doing this from my computer. I'm usually always on my phone because I'm walking or doing something and uh, I had to download a new browser so I could go live. But happy Black Friday. Um, I am. I got a couple things going on. One, I'm at one of my favorite coffee shops to write music. It's called Nina's in St. Paul. It's a couple blocks from my house. And I got here just a little after six because um, there's this cool little, like, if you followed my stuff, um, I've probably posted pictures from here before. Um, but there's this cool little, like, loft area that only seats two people. It's got a cool little table and a cool little lamp. Um, and this sweet painted library wall, which I would love to have in my house someday, but you can kind of see here, check this out. So this is where I'm at. Um, it's a nice, cozy, quiet place to be, especially on Black Friday which I, I kind of assumed it would be busier, like everyone getting out to get their coffee and stuff, but um, I guess they were probably up all night. Um, so cheers to you guys. This is my second cup of coffee. It's just black coffee. It's such a little cup. Um, but it is in the cup. I had a wonderful... Uh, cappuccino which I'm going to show you a picture of because it was they just did a great job check this out see if I can put this in the comments oh what happened I don't know what happened I tried to put that in the comments and now my comment box is obliterated Anyways, it was a wonderful looking coffee. The guy who poured it did a great job. Um, so here's my dilemma for today. Day after Thanksgiving, um, my DJ, Joshua J, you guys have hopefully come to know and love, is hosting uh, a basketball tournament, which is great. Um, I haven't played basketball in a very long time. Very long time. I don't even currently own a pair of basketball shoes. I'm embarrassed to say. Basketball, like, was my life for a large part of my life. And I don't even own a pair of basketball shoes. And so, because of that, I went and bought a pair of basketball shoes. And I paid for expedited shipping, which is ridiculous. But I did, because I was like, I need, I'm going to be playing a decent amount of basketball today. I need basketball shoes in time for this game that we got. And so, I've been checking the... Uh, the shipping updates and first off overnight shipping maybe I should know this but it's not really overnight shipping because I have to like process your order and do all this stuff so I pay for overnight shipping for these shoes and it's been like three days because of how they have to process everything but I keep refreshing my UPS tracking updates because the basketball game is at three o'clock today and uh, oh, the shoes just got to Minneapolis. There's hope. Last night they were in Kentucky, and I didn't think they were going to make it here in time. The shoes just got to Minneapolis, so that's great. So hopefully I will have basketball shoes to play basketball in. And this is the first pair of basketball shoes that I have purchased since my freshman year in high school. That's crazy. Because we had team shoes all through high school that they bought for us, and then same in college played all four years in college and we had team shoes the whole time and then since college I just have been wearing the same shoes that I had kind of stored up in college so this is the first pair I probably have saved thousands of dollars knowing how expensive basketball shoes are these days thousands of dollars um, on shoes so it felt it felt weird I like went online to buy a pair of shoes and I felt like I don't even know what to do so we will keep up we will keep checking the tracking updates to see when they're going to get here. <clears throat> but <clears throat> um, I hope you guys all had a great Thanksgiving. Katie and myself and Hadley did. Um, 
it was a quieter Thanksgiving this year, which was kind of nice. Um, but we had a great time yesterday. What are we going to do today? We're probably, we're going to do Black Friday grocery shopping. Um, not anything crazy. I was, I was thinking, I was like looking on stores last night. The problem is I can't, <clears throat> I can't go to stores to get shoes because I have huge feet. I have size 14 feet. So I have to order all my shoes online for the most part. But when I was like realizing last night that I wasn't, that these shoes weren't going to come in, um, I was like, man, I got to find shoes to wear tomorrow. <clears throat> so I was going to, I was looking at stores to try to see, um, if I could go find a size that would fit me. Um, but I was like, man, I'm gonna have to brave the Black Friday craziness to just get basketball shoes for one game. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. So, but we're probably gonna do some Black Friday grocery shopping today. Um, clean the house, just kind of hang out. <clears throat> we're, we're both off work, which is great. So I'll probably hang out here to write some music for a little bit longer. And um, yeah, we'll just kind of take the day as it comes. I'm currently working at a, on a song um, as I was sitting here. So I got, like I said, I've been here for like an hour already. Uh, I am working on a song called, I mean, I don't really know what it's going to be called, but right now it's called Make Away. And uh, if you know, <clears throat> if you listen to my song, All I Need, um, it's going to kind of have like that upbeat driving kind of feel to it. Um, and it's just all about God's ability to make a way through whatever circumstance or whatever situation comes um, in our in our lives. And I know for, you know, I've been super blessed in the fact that I haven't faced a ton, um, <clears throat> a ton of opposition in my life. I haven't faced a ton of tragedy. Um, you know, myself and my family, we've had, um, we've had our moments and we've had, you know, things that have, have come our way, whether it be sickness or or whatnot that have impacted our lives. But I haven't had, um, I've been incredibly blessed to not have to face any intense, um, just opposition to life, to joy, to anything like that. And so, um, but this song is gonna be a song, I think for those people who have. Um, and it's a tricky song to write because when you haven't experienced something, you know, firsthand, you know, how do you write into it? But I still think there's, there's pieces and parts of my life that I can, I can take from and pieces and parts of parts of lives of people that are close to me who have suffered, um, where I can, I can write, you know, take all of that and, and put it into a song, um, of hope and of, in a line in the song that I really like and it kind of just came. So, so what I've been, what I've been doing with this song is I record the guitar <clears throat> just on my phone. So I just record like a simple chord pattern and I sit there for three minutes and I just record the same thing over and over again, like, like a never ending loop. And then when I drive, I just play it and I sing over it. I rap over it. I, you know, spit ideas out as I'm driving. And so there is this line that just naturally came out that I love. And it's kind of going to be like, um, the hook of the song and the hook is different than the chorus. A lot of people just say, Oh, it's the hook. Like the, the chorus is the hook of the song. Um, and it's not, there's usually like a line or a phrase or a theme. That's the hook, like the thing that hooks the audience and keeps them in the song. So it could be a, like a line or a word in the chorus. Um, but it's not always just like the whole chorus. And so I really think this will be the hook of the song. And just the line is I won't trade my joy for anything. Um, and then I go on to talk about like, like perfect scenarios in life, like a million dollars. I wouldn't trade my joy for a million dollars. I wouldn't trade my joy for having a platinum record. I wouldn't trade my joy for having a sold out show. I wouldn't trade my joy for, you know, X, Y, and Z. And, um, <clears throat> and that line just kind of came as I was just like, you know, some of the best lines for me come from just kind of goofing around and, and singing and rapping and, um, and I think that just came from a very authentic place in my heart of like, I won't trade my joy for anything. And then I was like, wait a second. A, is that true? Like, do I, do I believe that? Um, and B, like, what would be things that would come my way that would tempt me to trade my joy away? Um, and yeah, so that's, so, and, and that's as I write this, it's like, I want to be authentic in what I write. So it's like, do I, you know, I always kind of double check my lyrics as to like, do I mean that? Do I, do I sincerely mean that? 
Um, and, you know, a lot of times I'll write about things that I myself am working on. So, like, again, this line where I won't trade my joy for anything. Um, yeah, that's a, an authentic prayer of my heart right now. Um, but are there going to be things that come down the road in life that will try to steal my joy? Absolutely. So I don't have it figured out, but I think it's something that I'm committed to and something that I'm striving for. Um, and I know I have a God whose joy is never ending, everlasting. And, and I know firsthand right now in my life, I haven't experienced anything better than it. So I think I can truly say, like, I'm not going to trade my joy uh, for anything of this world or anything else that comes my way. So that's the song I'm working on now. Again, the working title is called um, Make a Way. It'll probably change, um, but I'm really excited about it. And I think the energy of the song will have this, um, like, driving, like we're almost like plowing through and like we're making a way. Um, so... I love all you guys who are who are tuning in. Oh, hi, Aunt Mo. What's going on? Unfortunately, Hadley, my daughter, is not here at the coffee shop. Hopefully she's sleeping. I don't know if she's sleeping, but hopefully she is. Um, she had a very busy day being passed around from person to person to person yesterday at Thanksgiving. Um, okay, so there's two things I want to tell you about before I let you guys go. Um, one is on Instagram yesterday, I posted, um, this picture, I'm going to pull it up, um, about dreams and let's see where it is. It says, if you're not dreaming big for yourself, who's doing it for you? And, uh, my answer to that is no one. If you're not dreaming big for yourself, who's doing it for you? No one's doing it for you. And so on there and on the Instagram story, I just said, Hey, like comment on your dreams. I would love to hear like what your dreams are. Cause I think for me hearing like what other people dream about is cool. It's just neat to hear like what people are inspired to do and motivated to do. And so, um, it was awesome. I was not expecting to get the responses I got. And so a lot of people DM me on Instagram, just sharing their hopes and their dreams for their lives. Um, and there's this natural, like, and I've experienced this in other places too, but there's this natural, uh, like, temptation to, to kind of say, well, it's too big of a dream, or like to kind of justify it, like, well, this is really big, but my dream is, or I don't know if this is possible, but my dream is, and, and I, I'm trying to get away from that, and anytime I encounter someone, then we talk about their dreams or their hopes for their lives, I always, like, you know, try to like, you know, help them not to say that. Or if they, if they start saying that, I like cut them off and be like, no, no, no. Like you can't justify it or you can't know, like, um, don't preface it. Just like, tell me what your dream is. Cause I think the minute you, you say that, um, the minute you say, ah, it's really big, but you're already telling yourself you're, you won't be able to do it. Or you're already kind of putting yourself in a position like, that could be, that's, that's a dream for somebody else, not for me. And, um, I don't know. I just have seen in my own life that like coming from like, there's certain dreams of mine that are coming to life in very real ways. And it's because I didn't say that I didn't sit back and say, Oh, this is somebody else's dream. And it's too big for me. It's like, no, this is huge. But like, I think I can do it. You know, and so I was on this retreat once um, a couple like two years ago with um, some young adults and it was an awesome retreat. There's probably 20 or 30 post-college students just seeking the Lord um, on this weekend retreat. And I asked this this kid during lunch, like, hey, man, what's your dream? And he didn't quite understand what I was asking. And he's like, no, no. I was like, no, like, what's your like? what's your dream? Like, what do you want to do? Like, if you could do anything with your life, what do you want to do? What's your dream? And he was like, wait, I don't understand. What do you mean by my dream? Like, I'm going to get a job. I was like, no, like I didn't, I couldn't, I didn't know how else to ask what your dream was. Um, and he had like no concept of what I meant. And it broke my heart that like this kid had, you know, gone through college, had been raised in a faithful family and had, you know, was, um, you know, 
devoutly pursuing his faith and was on this retreat and had no concept of how to dream like no concept of how to think kind of bigger than the practical of his life right now. No concept of how to think like just outside of the box as to like what maybe he could do with his life. And that like really made me sad. Um, yeah, it just really made me sad. And so I don't know, I've been super passionate about encouraging people um, in their dreams and what they think God may be inspiring them to do. Cause I don't, I don't know if we listen to the, to the whispers of, of the Lord in our lives. Sometimes, you know, we may think, be motivated or inspired in the moment to do something great but then when the practicals of life come in it's like well uh, i could never do that it's like no stay the course like you can do it um so it's just like ever since that conversation on that retreat i've always been, i've been very motivated to like be be a voice of encouragement and hope for people um who may be trying to do something that may seem out of the ordinary or not the most practical or where you know they don't know then what the next step tomorrow is going to be um, cause that's kind of the boat I'm in. Like, I love the Lord has opened so many doors for music and if, even, you know, we're coming up on the one year anniversary of mountains, my most recent album. And, um, if you would have told me before I released this album last year, like all the opportunities that would have come my way, like if you'd have said, Hey Connor, you're going to make an album and then you're going to, um, drop it in December. And then over the course of the next year, here's everything that's going to happen. You know, you're going to get to play these venues. You're going to meet these people. You're going to make these connections. You're going to, you know, you know, blah, 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 blah. I would have like laughed in your face. I would have said, there's no way, like, there's no way all that's going to happen in a year's time. Um, and all of that and more has, and it's just been crazy. Um, and so I just see this kind of this coming to life in my own life. Like the more faithful I am and the more committed I am to working hard, um, the more the Lord has has blessed the desires of my heart and this the dreams that i have are like slowly coming to reality um i mean if you listen to my song 27 it's i had when i had someone come up to me recently at a show saying hey i don't quite relate to the song because um i don't have kids yet and i don't have this or that and i was like no 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 like go back and re-listen to it like i wrote that song before i was married before i had a kid before all these things because it was like a song about what I wanted for the future, Connor, like what I was hoping and dreaming and desiring for my life in the future. Um, and so it's been fun to even see like little pieces of that song 27 come to life over the over this past year after I released the album. So, um, so go listen to that song. It's a great song. Um, so anyways, I got a bunch of messages on Instagram um, from people that I've met throughout the course of this past year, whether it was at a, a show, the student bill con conferences, anywhere, um, maybe just people who follow me, just people talking about their dreams. And it's awesome. Like, it is so cool to see um, young people uh, so motivated and like really dreaming big and thinking outside the box as to what God may want them to do with their life. And I think it's a really beautiful thing when our, our desires and our dreams match um the will of god you know and uh and if those two things can come together uh then i think there's nothing but success waiting for you if if what the lord wants for your life and what you want for your life come together um and the reality is i mean there i read that um uh hillsong church pastor brian houston he has a book called live love lead which is an awesome book and he talks about uh if your dreams don't scare you then they're not big enough and he says that um you know like it's not a dream if you think tomorrow like the practicals are coming together for it like it needs to be big it needs to be scary it needs to call you out of your comfort zone and he talks about like that's ultimately god's plan like god's plan is going to be big and going could be scary um, and, and will most likely call you out of your comfort zone if you respond to it. And so I think when our dreams and desires can match what the Lord wants for our lives, then, um, you know, and I feel that happening in my own life. And so, and it's just like, it's hard and it's, it is scary and it's not, nothing's guaranteed other than the love and faithfulness of our Lord to myself and my family. So, um, so it's cool. It's been really neat to kind of like spend a lot of time thinking through and praying through this idea of dreams, this idea of God's plan, um, how they intertwine. Hopefully this is making sense. Um, but it's just something that's been really on my heart recently. 
um, and as I meet people and, and get an opportunity to play music for more people, um, I love hanging around and talking to any anyone and everyone that I can after a show and just and try to be a voice of inspiration and hope because God's moving and working, I think, in very specific ways in my life. And I feel like the most, the least qualified person for that. Um, and so if he can do it for me, I really believe he can do it for you. Um, so if you uh, are inspired by that or want to share what your dream is, please do. You can either message me or uh, comment. Um, I would love to hear uh, what your dreams are, what what you think God's doing in your life. Um, it, it brings me a lot of hope and inspiration. And that's part of the reason why I asked the question, because I was like, this. I love hearing what other people, what the Lord's saying to other people, because it reminds me that he's alive and active in our lives and um, can really can really be a source of inspiration for me. Um, so last thing is seeing that it's Black Friday. I can't, why is my comment? I can't, I can't comment on this. Um, I'm running a 25% off everything in my online store sale. So the code is grateful. Um, and I will post a picture after this video uh, is, I wonder if I can post it on here. Let's, let's try this. See if I can post from my phone on my own live stream. Yeah, it's not letting me. Um, okay, so I'll post it after I finish this video, but it's just I'll post a little picture that has grateful on it. Uh, you type that in when you're checking out, and it gives you 25% off your entire order now through Monday. So these hats, the Mountains hats, um, we got the Mountain Dad hat, we got the hoodies, the T-shirts. Unfortunately, we're out of smalls um, in a couple of the items. I think the white Mountains shirt, I placed my hope in the Giver shirt, and the hoodies maybe. Um, so but it's online, so it won't let you order it if we're out of it, so you can just go by that. But thanks for tuning in. Happy Friday. If you're shopping, have a blast. Don't get hurt. Hopefully you guys find what you're looking for. Uh, hopefully say for my basketball shoes. Don't actually, don't pray for my basketball shoes to come in. There's a lot more things we should be praying about in our world than for my basketball shoes to get here on time, but I do want them to come in, so I'm going to refresh the shipping updates right now and see where we're at because I know how much you all care about my ability to play hoops. Um, ooh, it said they departed the Minneapolis shipping center. So maybe they're on their way. That would be, that would be great. Um, yeah, don't pray, pray for something a lot more worthwhile than, than my basketball shoes. Um, oh, also here's something we're going to do this week. If you're watching this video, whether you're watching it live or you watch it after I post it later, um, I am going to do week to week, uh, depending on if people comment or suggest ideas, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to write a song based on ideas that you recommend. So um, I want to encourage you just to comment, whether it's a theme, a word, something in your own life, uh, it could be serious, could be funny, it could be anything across the board, uh, but week to week, Friday to Friday, I'm going to write at least a verse and possibly a chorus of a song. Uh, if I can do a whole song, I will. Um, but I think this would just be like a fun thing to look forward to every week. So even though I do these live streams every week, um, I'm going to do a song, uh, song a week specifically for you guys. Uh, and it'll just be something fun. Um, and who knows what will come from it. Could, could generate some good ideas for me. Um, but I think it would just be a fun thing to look forward to every week. So. If you have something that you would like put in a song, if there's something the Lord's doing in your life that you would like put in a song, um, if you just think you have had an idea for like an amazing song and you're just not a songwriter, put the idea down. Uh, and then probably tonight or tomorrow, I'll go through and, and see if I can get you know, what we have and collect them. And then uh, I'll work on something for next week, which uh, next week we will have a special guest on the Coffee with Connor. Uh, and I won't tell you who that is, but there's going to be a special guest here in St. Paul having coffee with Connor. So um, 
comment your ideas, your suggestions, your thoughts, comment your dreams, um, and enjoy your Friday. We will talk to you next week. Peace.